Bones everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. <coughs> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water, see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah, pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Trev Goat here, bringing you episode 10 of the Red Dead Redemption series. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Been um, away for about two weeks, so uh, we'll see if we can get back into it here. It's a big country. I hope so. Gotta go save our buddy, I believe. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open. Oh, we gotta find a boat. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman. Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I think we should keep a little distance from the water, don't you? Oh shit. Sorry. Yep. Faster. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. Idiot. And no money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Dutch and Hosea say they do, but it's trapped in the town. <laughs> oh, it must be wonderful to have such trust in one's parents. Mine would have sold me for a hog's head of ale. In fact, I think they tried. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, uh, we'll never run out of people to rob. <laughs> but without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Okay, sorry, you're leading the way. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. 
Probably coming to get me. I'm wanted dead or alive in this area. So. He says pick, pick up the pace and we just walk. Hey, they pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. All right, should we walk there or should we run there? to just blast them do this quietly if we can leave it to me gentlemen I'll go around and create a distraction then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them okay crouch down out of sight take out your knife stay here all right we're ready okay let's move down don't cross until he's got their attention He's already crossing. He doesn't have their attention yet. Hold up. He's doing his thing. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Excuse me. Dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! That guy didn't do as good. I got him in one hit. Let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. We got two half. We have the canyon to deal with. You gonna sneak up on him? Okay, lean on all those boots you got there, eh? Your brother are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Mm. Come on, focus. Go. Focus, okay. moving. Tried to sneak up on him. Ooh, my shot is not good. Need to get some cover.
Where was that from? I think his horse just ran over. Oh. Badass. These guys quick. <laughs> hey, watch out for these two. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these igual putas. Got the damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bound? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Ah! You know we go. I'll take him out. Jeez, this guy's strong. What? from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not. The joy's back in your lives now. <laughs> Can't wait to have him back. It's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, you 
He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. <laughs> Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Go rob his cousin. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Oh, this is the guy that we were fighting the bear with. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong off. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but... You know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Watch out. You watch out. Easy. Come on, Gib. Oh, just hit a rabbit. One of five horseback rabbit kills. Nice. He said don't kill anybody. Just got to make sure we be careful. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Where's my monoculars? How do I only have that gun? I need my guns. Binoculars are. You've got binoculars, don't you? Hmm. 
Nope. There they are. Will you get your binoculars out so we can scan this place together? Yeah, relax. Any surprise? <laughs> you see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can drive the house. Or wait until morning, and I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's just do it now. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Should probably sneak up there, huh? Peek through the windows here. Alright, horse, you don't need to be following me, I don't think. Oh, there's someone laying back there. Everybody, that's right. I have the house of forty five dollars worth of items. Okay, I'll try to do that. Grab that, yep. Should have just poured, a, poured myself a glass as well. Food here. <laughs> I want you to search these here. Someone's snoring. Holy shit, $150. Not sure what I just found, but that was worth something. Missed what it said. Yeah, boy. All right, let's go. That was a pretty easy, pretty easy mission. Unless it's not over, you have to do other stuff. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> in the chimney. That's kind of a weird place. Because why would you sow your money in the chimney if you're actually going to use it? 
burn it all up. First time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Take it easy, Arthur. Okay, I'm here sorry. we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp. Looks like we've got an, another business. Um, should I go back to camp with him? Sure. sure. Sir, I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mitt. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Uh oh. This wall just needs some good force. This is gonna be just pull that lever. Come on. I think this might work. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I thought the whole thing was gonna come down. Let's get out of here! Come on! Oh shit! He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you.
trying to go for headshots, but that ain't working. Oh shoot. I don't have any other guns on me. Dead eye is too low open. Missing arm on to consume dead eye. Need that. God. How can I not mi hit this guy? see someone as we're shooting people. This guy's crazy. Where's my gun? Now you want to get out of here? Let's go. What the hell are you waiting for? Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? Choice. 
My horse died? Micah died. Dang it. Retrieve from checkpoint, I guess. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh shit. Sorry, horse. You're a crazy bastard. That was some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call <laughs> in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Yeah, that was crazy. I think we finally lost. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Mm -mm. Why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. That guy's psycho. Yeah. And I think that'll do it for episode ten, I believe. Um, so I hope you guys, guys are enjoying this series, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.